I got this old house, and we've got these old um, outlets, two prong. They're kind of dangerous, they're not grounded, so what we're gonna do is change it out with the GFCI, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I went downstairs, and I turned off the power, and I unscrewed the outlet. Um, and uh, so what I'm gonna do now, it's just to confirm, you'll notice it's dark in here, so I'm using a flashlight because the power is out because I turned off the um, the breaker. But we're just going to double check. So I'm just going to plug in a couple things here. Just make sure the power is out. I like to just make sure that there's no flow anywhere. You can plug stuff in, see if it lights up. Um, that's good enough for me. So now what I'm going to do is pull the whole thing out. And what becomes apparent is we have four line, four uh, cords in there, right? So that means that this, this outlet in particular is intermediate in the circuit. In other words, it's not the terminal outlet, meaning that it has a flow coming from the circuit box out to um, some other outlet. Um, that's okay, but it can be a bit confusing. So what that means though is, in these old outlets, it doesn't really matter. You just have to match hot to the hot side and cold to the cold side. The black cords are your hot wires. The white cords are your neutral wires. Um, but in the GFI outlets that we're gonna replace this one with, uh, which have certain safety advantages, um, especially for me since I have a kiddo. Um, so we have to figure out the line and the load side. Um, because if you don't put the out cords in the right places, then you will have problems and the outlet will not work when you install it and you're just asking for headaches. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and unscrew the outlet and separate the cords. And then um, notice we'll have to unscrew these on the side and on the other side. You can't really see very well. But once we do that, um, I'm gonna turn the, the, the electricity back on and we're gonna find out which side, which cords are the line wires uh, so that we can put them in the right place when we install. And so now, now there are some live wires in there. So first of all, be careful, don't touch any of the black wires. And the other thing that I've got here is basically an old school simple light bulb texture. You can pick one of these up at your hardware store for a couple bucks and you put a light bulb on the end and the way this works is you can touch to find out whichever pair of um, well first of all if you look in there it's not real clear but you can see that there are two sort of sheets of each with a white and a black wire so one of those pairs is going to be hot at the moment the hot pair, the one that lights up the bulb, that's gonna be your line. Nope. So now we can see the bulb is lit up. So the bottom pair there, that's your line. So the bottom pair is gonna go with the line top pair is going to go with the load. Now that we've determined this, let me come over here and just show you something. This is the GFI outlet. You'll notice the bottom is taped. Um, that's your load. And you'll notice that the bottom, in this case, is the line. So they're actually oriented correctly. And then it'll show you you know, the gold or the hot, the silver or the neutral, and it will say so on the side as well. So now I'm going to go turn the power back off, and then we're going to use um, my needle nose pliers and screw them in. Um, we know the bottom pair go with line, and we're going to go ahead and screw this outlet in, this new GFI outlet in. So, okay, so I have. I went back downstairs and turned the power off because we're going to go ahead and attach uh, the um, the cords to the outlet. But what I want to do first is just, just in the matter of course of safety, we're going to use our light bulb tester. 
to make sure that the power is indeed off. Safety is important here, so nobody wants to get shocked. So, there is no power. My light switch went off, so that's indicative. The light bulb tester doesn't work, and um, yeah, so it makes sense that the, there would be no juice flowing to these things. So, um, what I want to do is show you the back of this thing. So, if it isn't clear, the reason that I'm replacing this is because this is an old house, and these old two-prong receptacles um, do not have space for a third prong, which is kind of inconvenient for a lot of appliances and stuff you might plug in. But secondly, because uh, it's not grounded at all, so that is dangerous. Um, it creates more fire hazard risk and all sorts of other things if, for example, your toddler were to stick something in here. This, this outlet here is what we're going to replace it with. And it's basically a mini breaker within itself, and so it's much safer, even though it's not necessarily going to be grounded. Um, it is safer. So we determined that these bottom two cords were our line, our hot line, and our neutral line. And so they're going to go, let's see if I can see it here. See where it says line there? And then usually these, these outlets will come with a yellow piece of tape, which will go over the load. Um, section. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and uh, attach these, wrap these around the screws and tighten them down with a screwdriver. And you're, if you have a ground here, you would tighten it there. But we don't have a ground on this, um, unfortunately, but we're certainly not going to start ripping out walls to put a ground wire in. So we're going to go with the next best thing and that's just upgrade to these safer uh, GFI outlets. So notice I have attached all the cords to the terminals knowing that the black wires will always go to the gold um, and that the white wires will always go to the silver and we have determined which pair are line which go at the bottom in this case and load which go at the top in this case using our um, light bulb tester. So now what I'm going to do is just sort of wrap it up in plastic, uh, or sorry, uh, electrical tape, plastic electrical tape, and then we're going to test it one more time before I screw it down, and um, yeah, that's it. All right. Then there was a little red light, so there's a little spot there for a red light there in the corner, right about there. And so what I have now done is I hit the reset button, and then I plugged a little something in my little clock alarm clock to see if it was actually getting power. And it does. So what I'm going to do now is just um, turn off the power again and plug this, suck, uh, screw this thing back into the wall and put the plate back on. The main point I wanted to get across to you here is how to test for line and load. 